was blood everywhere, a lot of it his. Shot in the head, a Milwaukee teen talks about being lucky to be alive. And that is our big story this afternoon. A teen shot in his head more than a week ago is sharing his amazing story of survival. The 15-year-old and his mom sat down for an exclusive interview with our Aaron Mabin today. He joins us live in Milwaukee with a look at the teen's injuries and his new view on life. Aaron. Tonight, a bullet is still lodged in Javion Lark's head. He and his mom wanted to sit down and talk about the shooting that nearly killed him. They hope this story will save and change lives. I just heard bullets hit the car. I just ran my face. And blood was everywhere. Javion Lark describing the day he nearly lost his life. I didn't know I got hit. That's how fast it happened. The Milwaukee teen was shot in the head while inside a car near Congress in Appleton, September 26. You can see where the bullet entered. It went through and it lodged right here on the right side of his cheek. Most of Javion's face is swollen. It's hard for him to see and talk, but he says he's not in any physical pain. Did you ever think you were going to die? I did, but I was telling myself, I'm not dying today. Instead of taking the teen to the hospital, the people he was with dropped him off in a Milwaukee neighborhood. Take me to the hospital. I can see. I was all in. Take me to the hospital. Before the shooting, the 15-year-old hadn't been home in days and was hanging with the wrong crowd. Lakila Hampton is his mother. He just got to choose his friends wisely. So now that this happened, there's a lot of positive people that reached out to my son, and, and we're going to take that and run with it. After nearly dying, Javion is recovering, focused on finishing school and sharing this message. Listen to your mama. She tell you something. She would tell me to come out and listen And doctors will soon decide whether to keep or remove the bullet from Javion's face. This is a shooting that police are investigating, but Javion tells me he does not believe he was the intended target. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. Aaron, when you see the proximity of where that bullet came to his eye, it is scary. He is uh, lucky to be alive, but also lucky that he kept his sight. Mary, when I talked to the family last week, his mother said that he actually lost his sight for a little bit, but his sight is back, and on Friday, he's actually going to the eye doctor. Mary? Aaron, thank you. Compelling story.